What is happening guys? Got a brand new video for you guys today. I'm so excited for this. Today we are going to be refreshing the entire rear end suspension on the Mazda Speed 3. Ever since we installed those Kony shock absorbers on this old girl, stock trailing arm bushings that have, you know, high mileage, they basically said, uh-uh, no. No, we don't like these Kony shocks. And they decided to completely rip apart on us and blow out. Got a horrible clunking noise coming from the back. The Kony shock absorbers were too stiff. And they put all that extra stress on that rubber bushing, which was already high kilometers, very high mileage. So today, we are going to be swapping out the trailing arm bushings. Shut up, I'm trying to film, thank you. You guys, you guys know me, I cannot do just the trailing arm bushings. Very bad OCD. I have to do the entire rear end suspension on this thing. And that's what we're gonna do today. This is what we got, this is what we're working with. We got the new rear lower control arms. We got the upper control arm. We got the lateral links and then we also have the replacement trailing arm bushings. However, these are actually upgraded polyurethane trailing arm bushings by a company called Power Flex. This will increase the rigidity and increase our um, handling capabilities on the rear end of our Mazda Speed 3. You guys already know that if your Speed 3 or your Mazda 3 has any sort of, you know, miles on it, it's a good chance that those trailing arm bushings are on the way out and are in need of replacement. Ours were completely fine, but after installing those Kony shocks, they basically gave us the middle finger and, and said, you know, screw you pretty much. I'm gonna do that today. We're gonna refresh the entire rear end suspension. I'm gonna do these. I have to rip the trailing arms off anyways, so I might as well just do all these extras for, you know, a couple hundred bucks more and just refresh everything. Let's get started. Let's rip everything apart. Let's make it right. I'm gonna show you guys exactly like what I was talking about. Set it down. Trailing arm assembly right here. This is your trailing arm bushing right here. You can see mine is completely cracked, dry rotted and worn out. You can see there's that big crack in there. Two bolts up there holding them in to the chassis and you got a couple other miscellaneous bolts like this guy right here this guy right here this guy for the brake clip 
this bolt right here that attaches to the lateral link. I'm gonna take those off and attempt to get the trailing arm off. Take off this bolt that holds the upper control arm in place. So this guy right here, as you can see, it has a bushing in it also, so we sprayed that down a couple days prior to make sure, uh, hopefully it doesn't seize on me. Dude, that was butter. That was actually butter. Things usually don't go this well at Arsene's Auto Repair. We have one more bolt to crack loose on the front of the trailing arm and then two more bolts on the actual bushing part that are parallel to each other or diagonal to whatever. Anyways, we're going to crack this bolt loose on the bottom, get that one out, get the ABS sensor unclipped, all the connections unclipped with the plastic clips off the trailing arm and we'll go from there. Ugh, moving the actual trailing arm off. Ugh, shit, can't get it to come loose. Our breaker bar is actually bending, and so that's not good. So, desperate times call for desperate measures. Here are the resonators. We're gonna use these resonators for some leverage, and hopefully that does the, that does the job. Got the breaker bar, and we got this big piece of resonator going over top of it. Oh my god, no way! Dude, that actually worked! I'm so happy right now. Okay, that one's out. I'm gonna get the uh, ABS sensor unclipped from the wheel hub assembly. It's a little hard to see, it's a little hard to get to. But just reach in there, press the tab, and pull at the same time. Okay, got the last bolt removed from the trailing arm. Now we can move on to the actual trailing arm bushing bolts that hold the trailing arm in place. So as you can see, we got this crappy plastic cover that we have to take off. Seventeen millimeter bolt, crack those loose. Our trailing arm is coming down, but it's supported by the jack so it doesn't fall. Got the last bolt for the trailing arm bushing side out. Take our take our fancy little light, which is thirty years old and we are going to lower the jack slightly. Got the trailing arm bushing, control arm out of the car. Our bushing, look at our bushing. It's totally destroyed. It's mangled, it's totally destroyed. That's why we're getting that clunking every time I'm going over bumps. We're gonna take it to Mikey, my good friend and local backyard mechanic. He's gonna press in, press those in. And these, honestly guys, believe me, these are the last trailing arm bushings for your Mazda 3 or Mazda Speed 3 you'll ever need. So anyways guys, that's it for the trailing arm removal. I'm gonna go do the other side, but it's basically the same thing, so you guys don't need to see that. What made it so much easier, except that one bolt, getting the bolts out, was this stuff right here. This seafoam stuff, honestly, this deep creep stuff, it, I'm telling you guys, it does wonders. I got those bolts out, no problem. So you basically take this, spray down all the bushings, all of these, one, two and then down here same same idea on the control arm 
spray all the bolts down. It just makes the job that much more easier. Alright guys, once again, it's very late at night right now and <laughs> no surprise, things are not going as planned. That bushing bolt that I was taking out earlier, that camber bolt that I was attempting to unbolt and take off, it is seized inside the rubber bushing sleeve. So that means it's spinning with the bushing and it's not coming out. Got the spring out, the lower control arm is just dangling right here. And this bolt right here is seized inside the rubber bushing that's inside this control arm. That little guy right there, and that's basically stuck, and it won't budge, it won't come out. It just spins with the bushing, it does not want to come out. So we got a couple options. We either cut it off, or we try a torch. I already tried a bunch of penetrating lubricants, the deep creep stuff that I was talking about before. It's not gonna suffice in this case, so my boy Caden's coming over, he's gonna help us out, gonna bring a bunch of other tools with him, and hopefully, hopefully, if all goes well, we can have these control arms out by tonight and continue with the uh, reassembly of this whole rear end. So, <laughs> I love working on my car. Not, well, well sometimes, okay, I'll give it that. This is the upper control arm assembly on the Speed 3. So basically this bolt also interferes with some kind of uh, stupid looking sensor. And this stupid little bracket right here, in order to get the upper control arm off, there are three T10 I believe screws that I took off. One, two, three. So you have to move this um, uh, stupid little, I don't know, something to do with the fuel system, I guess, assembly out of the way just to get a stupid upper control arm bolt out. Isn't that stupid, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> You, uh, uh, you kind of screw yourself here? Or? Oh, dude, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Everything was going so smoothly, and then I got to these bolts, and then I was pretty much screwed. Like, I pretty much jinxed myself. Everything was going like butter, yeah. and then, like, right after that, I, yeah, I pretty much screwed myself over, so <laughs> that's where <laughs> we're at right now. Caden here, he also has a Mazda 3 sedan, Gen 1, 2.5 liter, that he swapped in there. So, next time, you have to do this suspension stuff. Yeah. Do not attempt. You do, do not try this at home because this will not come out. Now we got two, two of these guys and that's uh, Caden's dad down there and we're kind of just standing here praying. We're uh, <laughs> lighting her up. All right, so what's happening now is we heated everything up. We <laughs> going, going, go we deep creeped uh, the hell out of it. And now it's just time to butcher that bolt out of there however we can. Finally off, and now pretty much just reinstall everything back together, take her for a spin, and see what kind of performance improvements we get. Take the grease and apply to the uh, outside 
of the bushing to make sure it's nice and lubricated. He's getting the sway bar links back on and then we'll put the brakes back on and then we'll be pretty much done. Just put the wheels and tires on and go take her for a drive and see if the clunk is gone. Yarr! Yarr! Pirate! Okay guys, so after staying up the whole night, we have finally finished the Speed 3. As you can tell on my face, I'm really tired. We literally stayed up all night doing this. But we got her done, I just took her for a test drive, and I gotta tell you, the difference in like handling with these bushings, it's pretty insane. So please install these, do yourself a favor, and stay tuned for more awesome content. We're gonna be having a lot more videos come out with the Turbo Mazda 3, with the Mazda Speed. Down the road, we're gonna get another project car. We're gonna be going big turbo eventually on the Speed. We're gonna be tuning the Turbo Mazda 3. We're gonna be doing a whole lot more awesome content, so make sure you hit that like button. Help me out quite a bit. Subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more awesome stuff coming your way. Anyways guys, hope you guys have an awesome day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.